I know where there's some, right here in the hall clerk. No, no, my I have a At this point, I've got the um, little switching power supply Velcroed right there. Um, I've got coax coming down from the um, the um, the potentiometer. It's the same place on the circuit board here. Uh, down through, there's a slight, small strain relief right here. And the 9 volt and the coax go back to here, back in there. And if this all fits together, Output here for the uh, frequency counter, which sits up here, and a, a uh, BNC connector to connect the uh, the frequency counter to the output of this signal generator. Uh, so it'll be a, a, a piece of coax, much like this, and perhaps this very one. Go on there. And it'll go into the back, probably under the handle, and into the back of the uh, plastic case that I have yet to, to make. I've designed it. I'll show you that for a bit. Uh, it's just a simple, <coughs> pardon me, it won't be red when I get done with it, but it's a simple plastic box that will hold this. And uh, we'll get Velcro down right there. Uh, some mounting holes to, to screw this to the box and then a entry place for the coax and for the uh, 9 volts it'll come up here as well so it's coming along i've got this part of it done oh boy come in oh dear hello there kids how you fix for postage stamps i don't know old timer how many you want don't want any i'm selling them two cent stamps for one cent today only Heavenly days. How on earth can you do that? Forgot to mail my Christmas cards this year, daughter. <laughs> Just found them and soaked the stamps off. <laughs> How many you want? For every 50 you buy, I throw in a little bottle of glue. <laughs> hey, what you doing there, Johnny? Well, it's my birthday, Mr. Old Timer. He's baking me a cake. He is, eh? You know how to cook, Johnny? <laughs> well, we'll soon know. What do you mean, do I know how to cook? Sure, I know how to cook. I'm not only a cook, I was the greatest vegetable and fruit man in Peoria at one time. I never knew that, McGee. Well, I've been covering it up, that's why. <laughs> I wrecked my career. I was a failure. <laughs> How's that, Johnny? It's any of my business, which it ain't, but I'm interested, and when a feller's interested, you can forgive a certain inquisitiveness because... Okay, 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 I'll tell you. <laughs> I was trying to raise a seedless watermelon. And I done it, too. And that's what finished me. Oh, well, if you succeeded, why did it finish you? Caused a terrific demand for seedless watermelons, and I couldn't fill it. Why not? I couldn't grow them. Why not? No seeds. <laughs> hey! <laughs> well, as I was saying, one fella says to tell a fella, Say, he says. <laughs> yes, sir, old timer. I had such a knack with flowers and vegetables, I could even bring them back to life long after they'd wilted. Why, well, take an old wrinkled beet and give it the McGee treatment, and presto, back from the dead. Dead beet McGee, I wouldn't know that. <laughs> Say, 
Hey, how about my cake? Zeb Beat McGee, the ding-dong daddy of the dirt doctors, drudging in the ditches from dawn to dusk over discolored, decrepit, and darn near defunct daisies, dog wooden deodars, dazzling daughters with my debonair displays of dilly dahlias, daffy daffodils, and dandy dandelions discovered and developed by Dead Beat McGee, the diggity digger and daddy dude from down on the Delta and deep in Dixie, but shucks, I sound like a dad-ratted pixie. <laughs> 